Hi everyone, this is Monsori here. Um, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about counting in twos and I'm going to show you some activities that you can do at home. So before we begin doing that, what I would like to show you is some quick questions that you would, might like to do at home. So as I said beforehand, we will be focusing on counting in twos all the way up to 50. I would like you to try and find two more or two less. And also I'd like you to try and challenge yourselves and see if you can spot some patterns on a number grid when you're counting in twos. So let's move on to our first activity for today. So before we begin our counting in twos, I want you to think back about what we have learned previously. So I would like you to take two minutes to have a think about what these symbols mean. Well done at home if you have worked out that these symbols are greater than, less than and equal to. So less than, we know that if we practice it as crocodiles, so if the crocodile's mouth is facing away from you, the smallest number is right at the beginning. Whereas then if it's more than, the number with the big mouth pointing to it is where the larger number is. And if it's the same amount on both sides, we know that it is equal to. So what I'd like you to do now is, with your pen and paper, I would like you to try and see if you can compare these numbers. I am not going to spend time on here. You can pause and then you can continue solving them at home. Okay? So we are going to start with our problem for today. Our problem is going to be that there are five bikes in total, as you can see in the photograph. What I'd like you to do is to have a think about how many wheels there are in total. Is there a quick way where we could work this out? And then our second part of the question, which is a bit more challenging, is if two more bikes cross the finish line, how many are there now? Can you prove it? So when we prove something, we could draw diagrams or find a method to explain to somebody else how we have found our answers. I am now going to go through the strategies to solve the problem. So if you haven't solved the question yet, maybe you'd like to pause. So we've asked how many wheels are there in total. So we can use 10 frames, as you can see above, and we can also jump in twos on a number line. So instead of jumping in ones, we have done two. Why have we done two? Well, we know that one bike equals two wheels. So two, four, six, eight, ten. And as you can see, every time I've added two on to my ten grid. So I know that there are ten in total. And then the second part of the question was that if there was two more bikes crossing the finish line, how many are there now? So what I have done, you can see, is I've used a number line and I've used ten, uh, ten frames. So instead of beginning at the beginning of the number line again I've started where I finished. So I finished on 10 and I want to know if there was two more. So I've done two extra jumps, one, two, and I've ended up on what number? Well done if you said 14 at home, good job. So what I'd like you to do now is I would like you to try and solve how many socks there are in total. So I would like to know how many pairs and then how many there are individually. See if you can solve that at home. So first of all I'm going to count pairs. We know that pairs equals two. So let's count the pairs together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Well done guys, 14. Thank you for counting along at home with me. So I've written 14 pairs. Now, a pair doesn't equal one, it equals two. So now we are gonna have to count in twos to find out how many there are in total. So let's go together. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 
24, 26, 28. Well done, guys. 28 in total. Fantastic. What I would like you to do now is I would like you to go around your home and see how many pairs of socks you can find. What I'm going to ask you to do then is see if you can find a quick way of counting them. Think back to the method that we have just done previously. Okay. So, now that you have finished that activity, what I'm going to ask you to do is I would like you to design your own skip counting robot or monster. So, what I'm going to do is I have a template at the bottom down here, as you can see. So, I have two, a monster and a robot, and then I also have two more monsters at the bottom. If you really want to be challenging and be creative, you could design your own. What you will do is you will colour it in and design it. You will then need to make your own number track. So counting from 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 and continue the pattern all the way along. You are then going to have to trim here and here and then you will feed the number track through it and you'll be able to move it back and forth while you are skip counting. You can challenge your mummies or daddies at home or your brothers and sisters to see if they know the next number in the sequence. So that is one activity you can do at home. The second activity you could do is you could pick a random number that is obviously even because even numbers are in twos. So you are going to choose a random number or ask your mummies and daddies or your brothers and sisters to give you a random number. And then what you are going to do is you are going to design your own number line and then you are going to show me jumping in twos to the number that you've been asked to reach. Okay, that's the second activity. And the third and final activity is you could either make your own number grid or you can print one off online and you are going to have to colour in the pattern going along. So what number would come next? Well done if you said eight, one, two. Okay, you're going to finish it all the way up to 50. And then once you finish that, if you really want to challenge yourself, there is an extension at the bottom that I would like you to write the next five numbers if you were colouring in the grid up to 60. Okay, and that's as far as I would like you to do today. Once you've finished that, it would be great if you could upload them onto Tapestry for us to see. Well, I hope you're all staying well, guys, and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye.